So today we'll be learning about how to record your PS3 footage using the Hophawk Colossus. Um, what, it's pretty straightforward, but what you need to know is that you have to get a few things. Basically you need a component, a component cable, the PS3 component cable, which I'll show you right now how it looks like. And you have to obviously use your PS3 to output using component. Um, PS3, the PS3, you cannot record your PS3 through HDMI because they are protected signals which the closest cannot record so yeah so you have to use um, your component out and it's very simple all you have to do is component out into your your com your component in in the closest component input you have to just plug them in color to color um, just make sure that because there are two red um, two red wires um, you have to differentiate them between the video and the audio. Usually the audio cables are grouped together. And so you can then use the component pass-through, the, com the audio video pass-through, using the um, component out. So now here's the part where it can be rather tricky. Because unless you're using a, a TV as a monitor, you may have the problem of not having component input in your monitor because most PC monitors do not have any component input so what you may have to get is basically this so what this is is basically a component to HDMI converter so basically I have my component in there and the HDMI out this can go from cheap cheap prices from like perhaps 30 over US dollars to even the higher ranges of 100 over um, the the thing about this is that you have to get one of this in order to record if you are using a monitor that do not accept component input so unless you get a new monitor you have to get a converter to convert the signals so if that is all you should be ready to go and then you just have to set a few settings in your PS3 as well as your PC right so now with your PS3 all hooked up to the Colossus itself um, what you want to do now is to, s to tweak some settings on your PS3 so with your PS3 turned off what you want to do is that you're going to press and hold the power button on the PS3 itself to hear a beep what this basically does is that it allows the PS3 to set the default settings to whatever display connection that it is that it can find which will be your component cable so yep once you hear the beep your PS3 should start up and by looking through the um, software the Arcsoft Showbiz itself you're going to have to adjust a few settings there will be some slight delay so do be patient with the, um, the pressing of the buttons etc Okay, so by logging into any of your accounts, whichever, um, you want to navigate yourself all the way to the settings and um, scroll all the way down to um, display settings and simply um, enter it. Um, you will want to then select the first option which is um, video output settings. Simply enter it again. Now what you want to do is that you're going to select component which is the one on um, above and not composite do note do take note of this you then simply follow the instructions and when it asks you to confirm if you can see it you simply have to confirm it as well now what you do next is that you you will want to select all the different resolutions except 1080p because 1080p um, will not be read and recorded by the closers so once you've done that click next you will then be faced with a confirmation screen and simply um, confirm that you can see the display and you will basically be done with your display settings then what you do next is to go ahead and uh, set your audio settings um, what you want to do here is to select the very last one or if you're using optical audio out you have to select accordingly so just simply um, select whichever that works for you and you will basically ready to go this concludes the guide to recording PS3 footage using the Hophawk Colossus. If you have any questions or queries, do try to reading my written guide. The link is in the description bar below. 
and if you still have questions do feel free to message me or leave a comment and I will try my best to get back to you. Other than that if you have any suggestions or opinions that you want to voice out do feel free to let me know as well. Leave a thumbs up if you feel that this video has helped you and subscribe to me for, for more of such videos.